so as you can see right here, I have a, uh, a pig floating up a waterfall right here, and this uh, pretty cool structure right here. And if we go to the left in the spawn, uh, and there's this like lake with a bunch of mountains around it, and uh, you can use this to build a pretty cool uh, sorting house, and if you die, uh, your spawn isn't too far away. So it's just it's just pretty cool and uh, pretty nifty. So uh, we'll look around a little bit and then we'll move on to our next one. So this is mainly just like uh, this little mountainous region next to this lake, and uh, this is pretty cool. Um, now one thing you won't notice during this is that uh, I won't be doing any like amazing OMG ones. Just you know, pretty pretty cool above average, you know. And they are uh, they are definitely above average, but if you don't like them, you know that's that's your deal. So yeah, and uh, I'm not doing any of the really popular ones like the Gargamel Seed or the uh, Cliffhanger or not Cliffhanger uh, Glacier because you've already seen all those probably. I'm doing the lesser known but still pretty awesome ones. So, uh, let's move on to our next one. And welcome back to the second seed. Alright, this one is actually my name. It's, a uh, Quarter. K-W-A-R-T-E-R. And right here, I like this one because it's, it's a pretty good spawn area. You can see up on that mountain right there. There's some coal. And also, if you turn around... Plenty of sand, lots of sand, as you wouldn't need it. And uh, there's lots of trees, lots of coal, all over the place. So this is what I consider to be a very good starting map, because you don't have to go foraging for a lot of stuff. And there's also this area over here, some coal in the ground, or coal. Uh, you can collect a lot of stone pretty easily. Plenty of cave systems right here. And uh, there's also some gravel off in the distance somewhere over there. Um, I mean, just a lot of, uh, materials that you would need right off the bat, and, uh, it's pretty cool. So, uh, without much else being said, I'm gonna go ahead on to our next map. Alright, our third seed is, uh, the Cliffhanger Seed, inspired by Glacier. And, uh, right after spawning the map, you can notice there's a, a fair amount of, uh, winter, uh, biomes. Uh, so you can choose if you would like to have a snowy biome or, uh, a regular biome. And if you venture off a little ways this way, uh, there are some pretty cool, um, text, or, uh, landscape, uh, landscaping, yes. Um, and it's pretty, pretty spiffy, and, uh, there's also a massive, uh, section of, uh, stone here, above ground, and there was also this really cool mountain, uh, I believe it was over towards the, uh, snowy area more, but this is a, a pretty good, uh, basic above average map, because, uh, you got little pumpkins and snowy and this is basically if you want to have the option of going to a snowy or regular biome and uh, it does spawn these pretty cool uh, cliff areas right here along the beach so you can make a, a nice little house in the corner right there or anything you want really and uh, there's this nice little uh, cubby uh, you can make something out of uh, natural pillar, and, uh, there's also this awesome little cave section over here with some coal in it. So, just, uh, just a pretty awesome, uh, map you can choose between winter and a regular one. So, I will, uh, move on to the next one. Alright, our fourth one is the Awesome Sauce Seed, and that's Awesome Sauce, both A and the S capitalized, 
and uh, no spaces in between. And your spawning area is this little sandy beach. Sometimes you'll spawn on that. Um, not really that great of a starting area, but if you come over here, there's uh, this mountain right here, which has lots of little tiny caves and the such built into it. And uh, pretty nifty. So, uh, lots of exploring to do. And, uh, oh, there's some iron right there. Right there, you can get that right off the bat. There you go, iron. So, uh, another starting, uh, starting, uh, materials, uh, map right here. Lots of little cave systems in it. Uh, we're not gonna go too far in there, though. Um, wolf. <laughs> Wolves. Uh, cute little guys uh yeah so that, i mean it's just basically this mountain is uh the first thing i found and i haven't really explored much farther but i'm sure if you go any farther you'll find something as cool as this right here so <laughs> oh and i forgot to mention on the first part that if you find a pretty cool seed you want to share uh go ahead and post a video response uh for this one right here so uh, other people can join in on the awesomeness of it. So I'm going to head over to our next one. Right after we fly over the ocean. Oh yeah. Alright, here we are. At, guess what? Don't eat the mushroom. Oh yeah. Well... You'll notice there is uh, that interesting structure and a few mountains. Yeah, yeah, a quarter, nothing new. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's right, right in front of the spawn. We have a cow about to take a dive and a pig also about to take a dive, although involuntarily. Come here, you're dead. Oh, one more. Whee! Aw, oh, poor little guy. You're next. Hey, do you like diving? No? Too bad. Oh. Alright. Yeah, but this is a uh, pretty nice <clears throat> area right here. Uh, obviously, you can see it for yourself. Uh, but it's just right, really nice to have something right off the starting area to, uh, to look at. And uh, it's a pretty nice place to build a house. Lots of floating sand defies defying physics so if we uh tap on that right there <laughs> the one block falls awesome anyway oh uh, yeah and there's this pretty cool uh floating sand structure device pretty awesome we and there's also this little area right down here I think, yeah, if you have a pickaxe real quick. And that mod is called Too Many Items, by the way. It's an in-game inventory editor. Yeah, if you come right in here, I mean, you got a nice little area, cave system, perhaps. And there's just lots of uh, exploring to do. So I'll go on to the next one. We don't need to spend too much time on this. And I will see you guys in just a second. All right, and here we are at Minecarts Galore. Now, right there you can see there's a little cave system, but that's not really the reason um, I wanted to show this one. It's because you have easy access to a pool of above-ground lava, which is very uh, rare in Minecraft maps. And if you don't hurry and get over there, it's going to set half the whole forest on fire. But uh, if you would like some easy lava access, there it is. And it also comes um, equipped with this uh, little uh, mountainous region over here with a built-in cave system and fortifiable muffins. And it's it's just pretty cool, but uh, the main reason I wanted to show it is uh, easy, uh, easy access to above-ground lava and fire. So, <laughs> just a pretty cool... Uh, above ground lava map and it's you know um, besides than the above ground lava it's about average but I just wanted to show it for the lava here so you could uh, have some above ground lava. Alright 
So that's about it. You know, not much else to explore. So we'll move on to the next one without further uh. delay. All right, here we are at now in 3D. And this one has a very interesting structure to the left of the spawn. Uh, this little waterfalling area. And floating islands are always pretty cool. And then a, a pretty big lake area with a few little island mountains on it. And uh, it's, it's just pretty cool. Uh, because the starting structure right over there, and there's just a lot of potential to build, you know, a nice area. Like, you can just take out that little island of sand there, and you got a nice flat area to build yourself a house. So, not really much else to say about this one, and we'll move to our next one, our last one, uh, which is the redstone uh, scene here. Alright, here we are on the last one, uh, redstone. And I've actually played on this one because I enjoy it a lot. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you have this nice little, you know, regular mountainous region in the starting area. But as you can see the right there in the distance, is this uh, little ring of awesomeness. And also, uh, we'll get to that in just a second, but there's a cave right here. But this cave right here, actually, where am I? Hang on. Get some torches. So let's get some torches. There we go. This cave actually uh, wraps around. So, I mean, you could build a nifty little house in there. And uh, I've actually built a house in there before. So it's, pre it's pretty cool. And if you're wondering why the grass uh, wraps all the way around right here, uh, that's because I have a uh, uh, texture pack. One of the things it installs is grass on all sides. So, here is the uh, nifty little ring right here. I'll light it up for you. Yeah, so, I mean, it's just, it's just a pretty cool structure to look at. And uh, I have explored a little bit more, and there's also some nifty little things you can find. But uh, that concludes the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, subscribe or hit that uh, little like button down there if you enjoyed watching this. And uh, have a nice day. Yeah. Wow, that was lame. <laughs> have a nice day, guys.